This week, we have a girlfriend who kicks a kid down a hill, a wife who gets her sister-in-law arrested, a husband who accidentally texts the wrong number, a sandwich that ends an argument, and if you're a Patreon, oh, if you're a patron on Patreon, saved it. There you go. We're doing smut, the return of the smut. I teased it a couple weeks ago, but it's happening now, finally, this week. Uh, and also, we have another segment from the amazing Underbaki, host of the Weird Distractions podcast. Reddit on Wiki starts now. Get therapy. Yeah, welcome back to another John still coughing. Damn. Uh, welcome back to another episode, another Monday Reddit readings episode of Reddit on Wiki. With me today, I got Double J, John and Josh. How you doing, boys? Good. I'm not coughing, so I'm doing well. John, have you gone to a doctor? <laughs> no. Jesus. I think I have time to go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I guess currently right now you can't go anywhere. Glad to see that heater is working, or at least I assume. Uh, no, I just, well, actually it's my water, water tank that got messed up. So they replaced that. That's two grand down the drain. Everyone, home ownership is a fucking scam. It's and terrible. fuck you, Texas, because you don't know how to set your fucking houses right. <laughs> I hate this place. I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah. How's can't the, wait for uh, you to leave, brother. I can't wait. <laughs> how's the deep freeze down there? It's all right. Eh, not that's that bad. Not that, not that. Not that frozen. Roads are icy, and then the tires uh, that they sell for cars down here aren't good on ice. True. So a lot of people stayed home. Work was closed. Schools were closed. Businesses closed. I wanted a donut this morning. Didn't happen. Uh, but it's fine. <laughs> Parts of uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan have been like minus forty to minus fifty degrees Celsius. Jesus, uh, which is like, I don't know, somewhere like it's mi like minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is crazy. <laughs> Terrible. God damn. That sounds yeah. awful. Mm -hmm. So for sure, people there aren't leaving the house, right? Like y'all are just staying indoors. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, maybe not school kids, but pretty sure people go to work. God uh, damn. Yeah. You just really quickly go to car to house to <laughs> office. <laughs> you don't spend That's too crazy. much time outside. All right. Well, are we ready to hop into the stories today, boys? Let's do it. All right. I will say I definitely thought I was hosting last Monday. So all these stories are from last <laughs> week. So I'm also going to have a fresh perspective on these because I have no idea what I chose last week, y'all. <laughs> wow. I love when the stories are also a surprise to you. Those are always fun. Yeah, it's always good. <laughs> this is coming from cross posted from our ground score advice from Mary GTZ 2011. This is a girlfriend who kicks a kid down a hill. Yeah, I heard this one when you were reading the intro and I was like, what the fuck? Surely, How could that he, be a surely he said wrong, right? <laughs> he misspoke, right? We got to retake that. Uh, that's crazy. All right, here we go. My girlfriend and I have been dating for two years now. A few days ago, she told me the following. She left to take our dog to the dog park in our apartment complex. When she got there, a boy who we now know is eight years old with a ball pump approached her and asked if he could pet the dog. She let him. Then when he took too long, she told him that our dog can't poop if she's distracted. Well, the kid did not respond well to that and followed them into the dog park. He climbed into a tube tunnel in there. And when our dog went over to sniff the tunnel, my girlfriend saw him poking the dog with the pump. She told him, not to do that and leashed our dog and took him to a trail that goes through the trees behind our apartment complex that's decently far from the dog park. While she was there on the trail, letting the dog sniff around, she noticed that the boy was following them, still with the ball pump. She pretended to get on her phone and asked the boy something like, what's your name? The police officer on the phone wants to know. The boy then got angry and started running at them. My girlfriend put herself between the kid and our dog, and he stabbed the basketball pump in her leg. Oh she my then God. kicked him, sending him tumbling down the hill by the path. She said that it was an automatic response, but I don't know if I believe that. The boy <laughs> ended up spraining his wrists, and his parents called the police. 
My girlfriend was questioned but not arrested, and the parents want to press charges. And as much as my girlfriend insists that she thinks it will be fine, I can't get the idea of her being violent towards a minor out of my mind. I want kids someday, and I thought that I knew who I was dating. <laughs> she injured a child, and I feel so gross that I've been dating. Sorry for the smile. It's insane uh, that he took this way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She injured a child, and I feel so gross that I've been dating someone like this. How does our relationship move forward? That's where it ends. Uh, I mean, your wife was assaulted. I don't know why you're not more concerned about her. I know it's a kid, but still, got a weapon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. And I'm sure it was just like, yeah, a reaction. Like, if someone attacks you, you're going to react. Uh, you, you have no idea how you're going to react, but you'll, you will react. Uh, and hers was to just kick out probably to in fear yeah i mean it's unfortunate that it was a kid that sounds you know uh not Psychotic. taken care of properly well probably Again, not taken we care can't of diagnose, right but uh, he's following somebody with uh what could be a weapon a weapon yeah also yes. stab somebody yeah also poke yes. the dog with the said weapon exactly also where are his parents what's an eight-year-old doing in a park by, by himself? himself also following strangers uh, yeah, that's what I was going into. I'm like, probably not, you know, a well taken care of kid where he's, uh, just alone in a park for an hour more sounds like, uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's unfortunate for everyone involved, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't blame your wife for this. This is not her fault at all. Well, she's just the girlfriend. They're still the girlfriend. dating at this moment. Sorry. Yeah. My so My he, he's, he's questioning, <laughs> he's yes. questioning if he could still move forward in this relationship knowing that his girlfriend kicked a child got assaulted well it could have been <laughs> and way he worse, didn't take right? her side like it could have been the dog that attacked him you know what i mean that would have yeah. been way worse yeah and then if the dog everyone. attacked the kid then the then they're gonna be responsible for that which is insane because that kid provoked the dog exactly so it yeah. could have been way worse uh, and if they do end up pressing charges like can't they just be like well, why was this kid Dude, out this by himself? this kid stabbed me. <laughs> yes. Also, the kid, I have stab it's, marks that match the fucking ball pump that the kid had. Yeah. There's oh, that. I don't think so, they win that case. No. So Kevin hates kids now. Because one time oh, no. when I was walking, when I was walking him, this was when he was probably like seven or eight months. So I walked him around the neighborhood. And this is the time when like I didn't walk him far yet. Like I just walked him around the block just so he can sniff around the environment. Mm. There's like a crowd of kids um, probably like down the street. And of course, when people see corgis, they're just like, oh my God, corgi's so cute. And then I, yeah. I stopped them like midway. They were running towards us. I'm like, hey, he's in training right now. He's not supposed to be like interacting with people yet. I just want him to like go for a walk. But these kids were insisting like, I want to pet him. I'm like, hey, don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, stay away. Like, chill. <laughs> and yeah. So one of them like ran up on a bike like behind me. And I didn't see him. And then Kevin freaked out and he got scared. He took off like he was he was able to wrangle out of his, oh, uh, shit. his collar. Right. And this dude beelined home and like he ended up like shitting himself. Right. Oh, no. And then these kids kept following him in a bike and just kept what? running like, ah, Corgi, Corgi. And this was a time when I was in physical therapy, so I couldn't run. And I was chasing this dog like fuck like i that was like the most like uh adrenaline that i've gotten a while because i was scared he was gonna go on a busy street yeah and got run over right but for some reason kevin was smart enough to like run exactly to our house and then when these kids were like hella just saying like oh i want to pet him and i was like get the fuck away from here like get out like to the point uh that i pretty much cussed out the kids right and then now when we walk and i told Juliet about those kids he's just uh, she's just like if they get near Kevin again, I will fucking drop kick them. And I was like, I'll do it for you. I'll gladly kick the shit out of these kids. So parents, teach your kids how to interact with dogs, right? Yeah. If a stranger says like, hey, you can pet them, leave them at that. And, and teach them how to properly like introduce yourself to animals. Because at the end of the day, these are like, even though they're trained per se, they're wild animals at the end of the day. And they can, they can bite back. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Wild story, but this reminds me of my childhood neighbor who had a fucking monkey. Uh, and uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Texas he had a monkey. A wild I don't know not how real. legal it was. Uh, yeah, he had a monkey. What kind of monkey? I don't know. 
I don't like Marcel from Friends or I don't know. George. I mean, it was probably that size. It wasn't a fucking gorilla. You know what I mean? It was a monkey. You know, he walked around with the monkey on his shoulder. And okay. uh, I guess one illegal. day, like an aggressive kid, you know, was messing with it. And then it like bit the kid. And then they had to, they had to, uh, I don't know if he had to put it down or give it up. Or yeah. And that, that's usually what it is. And yeah. it's just yeah, 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 being little shitheads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just not knowing, right? They're not taught properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's responsibility of the parents at the end of the day. For Teach sure. your damn kids how to interact. Not even just like dogs, even just people. Don't have them fucking be running up to people because if someone approaches me, my initial reaction is just defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Moral of that story. Fuck them kids. There we exactly. Go. <laughs> I got it. There it is. We found it. All right. Are we ready for the next story? Yeah, that was like a three in one story. Was it? Well, because you told a story, John told the story. Oh, that's then true. That's true. Friend. We got a monkey, a Kevin story. <laughs> oh All my right. God. This one is a wife who gets her sister in law arrested. This is coming from R slash confessions, cross posted by a goat, blood unicorn Valkyrie. Hey. Nice. Did she call go. the uh, uh, abortion police in Texas? Uh, no, like that one story, not like that one story. She okay, called the good. CPS on her oh. husband's sister and, uh, got her arrested. And okay. now Damn. her husband is filing for divorce. Interesting. So could, right. be, could be for a good reason, I guess. I was going to say it could be justified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. I feel like everyone's going to say that I'm wrong and that family comes first and I should have stayed out of it because this is exactly what my husband's entire family has been saying to me. And now they all hate me and my husband is filing for divorce against me. You better believe Wikimaniacs. That was all one sentence. Jesus. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> his Love family those posts where there's yeah. no grammar. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Where's this going? Wait, the husband is divorcing the OP. wife OP. that reported? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Ugh. And that whole family, all the in-laws hate OP. Okay. His family told me instead that I should have talked to them and have one of them safely drive the kids to grandma's. And I should have helped his sister instead of ruin her life and get her arrested and have her kids taken away from her. So I called the CPS on my husband's sister, who is 29 years old. She has four children and three baby daddies. She's unmarried. She's a single mom and is in full custody of all of her kids. But she's also an alcoholic. She usually puts her kids in daycare on random days, even when she's not at work, because she wants to go to the bar and drink and find a guy. She's always jumping in relationship to relationship, and she's always putting her kids in daycare so that she can get hammered. She also drinks and drives with the children in the car. She claims that it's not that serious because she's tipsy. And when she drives, she is a better driver when she is tipsy rather than sober. Never true. Never Never fucking true. That's not true. Tipsy driving, believe it or not, same as drunk driving, y'all. Yep. Yep. She is not a good person. In fact, I hate her. Unrelated to that, but she is also a backyard breeder. She was starving the mother dog because she didn't have time to take care of stupid dogs when she has a job and kids to take care of. Again, these are her words. The the mama dog died during labor and more than half of the litter didn't make it either. She never took this dog to the vet either. She just sold the pups that did make it. Anyways, this part is a random story, but this is the main reason why I fucking hate my sister-in-law. I would like to kick her down the hill. I was going to say. (laughs) That's going to be my response too. Anyways, I took a recording of the evidence and I also called the police, gave a license number and other information on where she was heading. The police got her and they checked her blood alcohol percentage. She's still in the county jail because no one wants to pay the $1,000 for her bail. But my husband's mother and, uh, I'm guessing the other sister-in-law are working on her bail and are going to get her out by tomorrow morning. She doesn't know when CPS will return the kids though. 
I feel like what I was doing was the right thing, but my husband's family hates me now. My husband said that this is not my place. He is leaving me and I'm begging him not to. I feel so vulnerable now too, because I just had a baby six months ago. Oh. Also, his sister is apparently threatening to beat me up when she gets out of jail. Okay, so threat of assault on yeah. you. Uh, I hope they got that on the fucking. Immediately. Yeah, yeah, I hope they got that on the phone that she was calling on. I'm gonna beat your yeah. ass because they record the fuck out of every phone call uh, of those. You know, when you're in county jail or yeah, any jail, exactly. I assume. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Is that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, well. <sighs> Like my first thought is the whole family is mad about her, uh, for should getting her sent to jail. They should be mad at the sister. But you should be mad, yeah, because your nieces and nephews are also your family, and they're being treated poorly and put in dangerous situations. Mm. Uh, take that way mm. more seriously than you are. Like what the fuck? And the fact that that family is enabling that bad behavior and what Josh said, like enabling or you know putting the the kids in danger. Why would you want that for your family? I, honestly. You did the right thing, and it's good that your husband is probably going to leave because it seems like that family is cuckoo, and they're they're just enabling danger. And 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 look, I'm not going to be here be a hypocrite and say, like, I've never – I've driven drunk in the past, right? And I have my documented cases of, like, me being a dumbass in the past. And another thing that people don't really recognize about doing shit like that is you can say, like, oh, I'm doing okay. I'm – I can drive whatever, like tipsy and all that, but you're not uh, factoring the the fact that you are endangering others out there. There could be someone who's just picking up milk at the grocery store and you hit someone and you just ruin that person's life. Yeah. Um, and not only that, you're endangering your kids every single time you drive around drunk as hell. Uh, it's good that this person is going to jail and uh, I'm kind of happy that the kids are being taken away because they need to be at a home where they're safe. and you know, just going places safe and not someone who's drunk driving them around. So that family's ass. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Is it saying that they are mad at OP uh, when they watched the mom one wild to say like, Oh, it's cool that I could drive my kids tipsy. And then nobody in the family bats an eye, or you just watch her fucking kill multiple dogs and then just be like, Oh yeah, I that guess too. that's cool too. That's just normal. Yeah, oh, we haven't talked about I don't that even at get, all. I don't yes. even want to get started with that one. Yeah, I feel like that has to up. be illegal or something. It definitely is. Yeah, it's not taking care of abuse. animals. Yeah, animal abuse. There you go. Yeah, that, yeah, you can't just get away with that. It's insane that she was able to just sell the puppies that were alive and have no recourse. Like, nobody said anything to the police about that. That's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's more common than people want to realize oh, definitely uh, is yeah that's, that's tough adopt Boy. adopt <laughs> or responsible breeders there are or responsible things. there are responsible breeders you are right yeah that's true that's yeah. true i don't I'm know i'm just I saying for straight the, cats i don't know anything about dogs if i'm being <laughs> yeah we every found dog in a barn <laughs> yeah every dog that i've ever gotten was uh somebody else being like i can't take care of my dog here's a dog and i'm like what mm. are you yeah why do why me but anyways <laughs> That's You're a trustworthy and spay person, and neuter Sean. your pets, people. Please. Oh, yeah, for spay sure. Spay yeah. and neuter your pets. All right. We don't say that we're going on ad break, so I'm not going to do that. Are we ready for our third <laughs> well, you story? Just did. <laughs> no, you but I, even said I said that I'm not going to do it. So then, you know, technically that negates the fact that I did it. <laughs> okay. uh, Interesting. Uh, third story. Here we go. All right. This is a husband who accidentally texts the wrong number. This one is a Ooh. personal story from our own subreddit, r slash reddit on wiki. This one hey. is posted, not cross posted, from uh, Bright Ground Score Jump 5279. Shout out to you. Hopefully you're a listener. Yeah, that's true. That the People could be writing personal stories on here and have <laughs> no idea. No clue. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did. Of course that makes sense. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So this is titled, You Texted the Wrong Girl, Dumbass. Okay. My husband and I have been married for 14 years, and I thought we were happy. We had a few philosophical differences, but overall, I thought we were doing well. One day, 
I noticed that he was keeping his phone really close at hand, which was not normal for him. He was not a morning Shit, person pizza, at all. Pizza texting him at two in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you up? You want a pizza? <laughs> it's the fucking uh, Jake from State Farm, but for real. <laughs> what are you wearing? Khakis? Khakis. That sounds hideous. Yeah, you sound hideous. <laughs> oh, you sound hideous. <laughs> he was not a morning person at all. His norm was to stumble his way to the coffee pot and take his morning shower, but he was grabbing his phone off the charger and taking it into the bathroom with him every morning. So I got up in the middle of the night and checked his messages while he was asleep. Dozens of texts to a woman, and the recent ones referred to being glad that he was seeing her next week. Oh. He had told me that he was going on a, wait for it guys, a business trip. Ah, oh, there it is. Classic. Which wasn't unusual mm-hmm. since his job requires uh, that frequently. Although I am not good at face-to-face confrontation, I managed to tell him that I had discovered his affair and asked him if he wanted to do marriage counseling to repair our relationship. Oh, that is generous. <laughs> Very generous. <laughs> I mean, good for mm-hmm. you for uh, for approaching it that way. I, I ain't repairing shit. Yeah, You're a bigger person guy. than us. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> He gasped. Matter of fact, me. I'm squaring up <laughs> <laughs> against Juliet <laughs> right you now. Lose. Let's you go. Get your ass you get your ass <laughs> beat. I you mentioned on the daily beat. that she beats your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he then gaslit me and told me that I was imagining things. There was Holy nothing shit. to the text mm-hmm. messages he sent to the other woman. It was just flirtation, and that he didn't want or need counseling. Which is still cheating. Yeah. Buddy, flirtation is <laughs> also not allowed when you're married, I think. Yeah. I'm fairly I mean, still like entertaining the idea. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? You're imagining things, babe. I'm just fucking flirting. Flirting. <laughs> I'm just flirting. What a crazy response. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but he said that since I thought our relationship was in trouble, perhaps we should separate for a while. Oh, big surprise there, buddy. No, just this a while. <laughs> yeah. He would take he's, he's our- He's going to want a little open relationship. Yeah, this. we're when on a break. Get, when he gets back, <laughs> he's going to be like, yeah. I think we should open this relationship up. <laughs> and then she's just out getting all the guys. Dick appointments. <laughs> and he's home alone. <laughs> DA. Uh, he would take our big motor home and live in a local RV park while we, quote unquote, thought things out. So- I followed him to the RV park, intending to bring him back to his vehicle, which was parked at our house. On the way there, he texted me directions to where he was going. A few minutes later, I get another text from him, which, uh, parentheses, going from memory here, said, we are headed to the RV park. She's in a pissy mood, so it will be after five before I can get back to the RV and I can call you. Can't wait to hear your voice. Love you. End Dude. quote. Love you. Love you. That's more than love flirting you to me. Crazy. <laughs> it's just flirtation, oh, babe. Shit. Just flirting. God. I love this one. <laughs> yeah. For a uh. moment, I was confused as hell. And then it hit me. So I texted him back. Quote, you texted the wrong girl, you dumbass. <laughs> there was radio silence for several minutes. And then he texted, OMG. Wild to start that way. <laughs> OMG. You're imagining I'm, things. Yeah. <laughs> You're also fucking, uh, it's just flirting, dude. <laughs> OMG. I'm so sorry. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I turn around I and text it back. Either. There's Fuck nothing to talk about. We're done. Good. That is the Good. proper response to that. Fuck that yep. guy. What a piece of shit. Insane. If you want a divorce, just divorce. Don't you know, go behind their back. It's so fucking disgusting. Yeah. If you're unhappy about your situation, open your mouth first and have that conversation. People resorting to cheating off the bat. I just got zero respect for people like that. I don't want to talk about it, John. Okay. (laughs) Well, give me directions to your RV park, Josh. (laughs) We're going to go to the RV park. What a romantic date. There are some Mm -hmm. uh, comments in our section that uh, OP wrote back. Uh, Oh. Oh, Wikimaniac Lynn0712 wrote, please tell me you screenshotted all of his messages to her and then sent them to yourself. 
which OP replied, this was 13 years ago, and I didn't know about taking screenshots, to be honest. Oh, but fair. I kept the text he meant to send to her on my phone. I was also able to access both of our phone's text history from Verizon to her number, and they were texting each other like a couple of giddy teenagers about every few minutes. When Just I looked at our, damn. When I looked flirting, at our banking Johnny. history, uh, he always took care of our financials. I saw that he had actually written checks to her to pay off some of her expenses from our joint account. What the oh fuck? Oh, boy. Oh, you got me fucked oh. up. Yeah, I, I'm taking that trailer no. back. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Sure. Definitely not keeping it because of all the, the dirty shit they probably did inside yeah, that trailer. True. Oh, no. God. Yeah, I'm selling that. Nah. Getting it cleaned and then selling it. I ain't even cleaning it, bro. I'll just straight up sell it. <laughs> sell it as is. Stains and all. Turns into like not? 13 years ago, there weren't screenshots. Hard to imagine a world. Man, I was show, I was hella showing my age uh, a couple days ago. I was trying to get directions somewhere, and I I told Julia, I'm like, hey, can you pull up the map quest? She just fucking stared at me and laughed. Oh, <laughs> map quest, bro. I was oh. like, God damn them all. That's Wait, are y'all not the same age? Games. <laughs> She's older than me, actually. Oh, okay, okay. She, oh, this, she also knows about the map quest. <laughs> <laughs> but Man. she just looked at me she was like are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> she's way I'm more like, hip damn <laughs> can you remember we used to fucking print those shits out print yeah yep. and then if you yes. fuck up you're just miss a well, turn bro it's, it's over, over <laughs> brother <laughs> oh I have it's no done. fucking clue where we are you pull out that big map that unfolds you try oh, to find see, the road you're on <laughs> see i'm actually happy that like in the, the Texas freeway. So when you, when you like miss a turn, you can just go back to the exit ramp. And then there's usually like a, a turnaround a lane, right. To get there. California, they ain't got that bitch. So like sometimes That's like you saying. get exit out and there's not even a, the same entrance to go back to that, that highway. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Driving in Texas is very easy, but it, it does suck that there's no public transport, but I am glad they figured out. Not really figured out because traffic is still insane. Uh, Traffic's but ass. I do appreciate the, there's like exits, like so many exits and U-turns. It's it's almost impossible to fuck up. Uh, I would have oh. probably done it. The, the highways there are crazy. There's so many of them. There's, I'm scared. Dude, there's like a, a <laughs> somewhere like near Katy, there's like a suburb in Texas or in Houston where there's like a lane of freeway when they all intersect. And like, if you add them all together at that one intersection, it's like, 20 something lanes of traffic. Oh my God. Ah, that's damn. fucking stupid. I fucking, uh, we need a train guys. What are we doing? Ottawa's got one highway and that's it. <laughs> oh, there's so many. I get anxiety when there's only one lane. I'll be passing. Anytime I see like a passing lane, I'm like speeding. Over. Oh, like going like, in between cities and Texas? Hell yeah. I'm like, I can't do this shit. <laughs> All right. Next story and last story, unless you're a patron, this is a sandwich that ends an engagement. Ooh. A sandwich. Must have been a really fucking good sandwich. <laughs> or it must have been a really terrible sandwich. Oh. That's true. Wait, how it does could that be work? <laughs> if it ended the relationship, maybe, you know, they, someone, a partner made like the worst sandwich they ever made. It's like, I do not want to eat this for the rest of my life. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> this is coming from r slash two hot takes. Call us. We'd love to collab. <gasps> Uh, stole this is stuff from them. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, are we cross, really doing this? <laughs> <laughs> this is cross posted uh, by mediocre ground score watermelon. Uh, go follow two hot takes. By the way, I feel bad for stealing their, their stuff. <laughs> Watch Morgan Souza. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Reddit thing. It's just another subreddit. That's true. <laughs> they can read stories off of ours. I don't care. I wonder if our stuff gets posted over there too. I don't know. Hey, uh, congratulations on a tour, by the way. I see that they're hella touring the U.S. Yeah, hell yeah. So congrats hey, to look, takes. When when Spotify was doing the podcast shit and everybody was sharing their top five or top six podcasts, they were probably the most. Uh, you know, anytime we got tagged, they were also tagged. Uh, yeah, granted, we have a, they were probably true. tagged way more than we were tagged, but <laughs> oh, there's a, the Venn diagram of fans definitely exists. I, I would. Yeah. I think their circle engulfs our circle on For that. sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there might not like be a, a listener blip. of this show that also does not listen to two hot takes. <laughs> Please respond <It's>, to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is titled my 26 male fiance, 24 female 
is reconsidering our relationship over a sandwich. Oh, so I think it is what John said. <laughs> Fuck the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Next month, we'll have been together for three years. We've been living together for 11 months, and I proposed five months ago. This situation is absolutely absurd to me. A couple weeks ago, my 26 male fiance, 24 female, asked me to get takeaway because she was too tired to cook. Oh, she's British. A, yeah, takeaway. Takeaway. Can I get a Chinese? <laughs> anyway, <sorry. laughs> wild that that's how they say it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how they say Chinese food. Yeah. Can I get a Chinese? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? <laughs> what? I don't think that's legal. <laughs> it feels racially charged, England. It does. It feels very racially charged. <laughs> She's an A&E nurse, which I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. A&E? It's like a, a &E. network, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say account executive. That's what I'm recruiting for. Right I have no now. idea. I don't know, but it's a nurse. Uh, She's a nurse. So A&E a &E. nurse. I don't know. Uh, British people, let us know if you know. Something emergency? Ooh. Amputations and emergencies? Uh, first point of contact for patients as they enter the hospital. Oh, okay. I don't what know what the A, a and E stand stands for. Acc <laughs> Accident and emergency nurse. That's we'll, exactly we'll what it stands for. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, John. Uh, she's an accident and emergency nurse and was still recovering after having had coronavirus, which she caught at work. I went to Greg's after work and I had a voucher where I could get a second free sandwich identical to my first order. I thought Greg was like his friend or something. I guess Greg's <laughs> is a, oh, a Greg's chain. Oh, Greg's is probably like a grocery must store. Be, yeah. maybe. I'm assuming it's like, <laughs> like a you bodega. Know, yeah. Like a Publix. Yeah. Could be. I, I have no idea, but that's funny. I was like, oh, it's buddy Greg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Greg's. Of course, Greg's. I ordered us tuna crunch baguettes, plural. When I ordered this, I forgot that she's allergic to several types of fish and shellfish, including tuna. Oh. Mm. Now, it was an honest mistake on my part, but she flipped out. I offered to cook for her instead, and I was going to let it go because she was just getting over being ill, but she was still mad the next day and left our flat to go stay with one of her mates. Oh, definitely British. <laughs> yeah. uh, besides the tuna, she was also upset that I couldn't recite her usual Greg's order by heart or order from another one of our regular takeaways, even though she knew mine. She has a better memory than I do because she needs it for her work. Nice excuse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she hasn't returned and she says she's reconsidering our relationship over a sandwich. She says that the sandwich is just a symptom. But I think that's absurd. I made one mistake for getting her allergy, but I don't believe it's something to end our relationship over. She was disappointed when I got home and told her what sandwiches I bought, but I didn't think it would be something she'd leave me over. My family and even my mates say that I'm right, and this is absurd. For her to be reconsidering our relationship because of a sandwich? The one time I spoke to her since she left, she says that her family all agrees with her. Our lease is up at the end of next month, and she told me to go ahead without her if I want to stay in our flat. I do love her. I want to marry her. It's completely absurd to me that I'm in this situation, and I cannot believe it. I, 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 could, see, I could see where the, the girlfriend flipped out, because I mean, allergies are a crazy thing, like, you know, people who have peanut allergies, if you feed them anything closely to that, like that's their life in danger, essentially. Right. Yeah. Um, but I can also understand where the guy's coming from. I'm very forgetful. I don't remember shit half the time. But I mean, there's remedies for that, too. You can write down your girlfriend's preference. So yeah. that way you exactly remember, what, you know, you remember what they like. Um, Notes apps exist for a reason. You can just yeah, put like yeah. Subway. This is what they order. Yeah, you know, you, you, you could do that. Um, but I have a feeling that there's, a, is there a little, is there an update or is there more to the story? Cause that was all that was it, but I didn't check the comments to see if somebody like posted anything. I'll, I'll look it up. While you're that, re talking. that reaction is a little too harsh for it to be a breakup right away. Maybe there's just a bunch of little things that the, 
that's the what boyfriend I was thinking, didn't John. do. Yeah. Uh, for for the girlfriend to react like that, because you know, little things add up, right? And she was probably at her wits' end, saying like, "Hey, I feel like you don't uh, you don't like the little things, or you're not doing the little things for me, so I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you." So there's probably something that the boyfriend is not telling us fully in the story. That's at least that's my what I'm feeling about it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too, John. Like. Uh, it, it sounds like, cause, cause she did say something like that to him. It's like uh, the little things or something like that. She said uh, it was, uh, that the sandwich was just a symptom. Symptom. That's what, it, yeah. So mm. it sounds like there are other things going on. Also, she is recovering. She's probably not happy. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and you bought her a sandwich that she is potentially deadly allergic to, uh, which is a very big oversight on your part i feel as partners that is something that should be front of mind when you're ordering something for them uh especially food allergies like that that for me that's like if if she wants to to end it i don't blame her uh i would recommend like counseling or if she if she wants to stay into it uh but yeah i agree with john i think he's leaving out a lot of things that have added up to this uh this blowout yeah yeah and before I start, I, I do want to say that there is a comment that I thought John would find funny. Uh, and I'm surprised he didn't do himself, actually. Uh, the number one comment is uh, by Black Hardish. They write, allergies could be severe, especially around fish and nuts. And forgetting Oh, this guy's shellfish. God damn it. Is yep, that what it is? Yep, yep. Motherfucker! I- and forgetting <laughs> allergies in a relationship. <laughs> And where you provide or share food is a huge red flag and could be lethal to the allergic partner. In addition, this was probably just the last straw in a series of selfish acts. Everything in his defense talk screams that he has no clue what is actually wrong. To which Mm. user Q-R-U-L-U, John already (laughs) predicted it, writes, you mean shellfish acts? Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't bastard. get that one immediately. You bastard. <laughs> this is the first time yeah. I've seen John mad at a pun. It's crazy. <laughs> He's mad he didn't I'm think mad that it. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. But, but the yeah. moment you started saying it, I was like, God damn it, shellfish could have been you. <laughs> as soon as I said allergies, you were like, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, that first comment does, uh, does a great job of encapsulating what was wrong with this. This guy keeps going on and on about like, oh, it's the sandwich that caused this. It's the sandwich. Yeah. But really, this yeah. was just like the last straw that broke the camel's back. You know what I mean? And every time there's a story like this, I hate when somebody's like, yeah, all my family and friends are on my side. <laughs> Of course, like of course brother. they will be. Yeah, you're, I'm sure you're not telling them that, you know, this was, you know, one of many things that you fucked up exactly. or like have shown that you don't care. Uh, so, yeah, uh, of course they agree. But yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do one of those little edits where uh, like the, the one, the last of my, the asshole we did uh, when he was like, oh yeah, my wife doesn't do shit, doesn't do cleaning around. Oh, house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, she's also like eight months, months pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. I'm surprised there was no crazy reveal. That, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, like I cheated on her and fucking did all this other shit, but yeah. oh my God. The way this dude phrases it, it there's definitely something fishy about it. <laughs> you fucking fuck. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love it. All right. There you go. Don't be coy now, Sean. <laughs> coy? Oh, you bastard. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this is... The amazing Underbaki segment of the week. This is, is this poster okay? Yes, I missed it. I thought you were were leaning into that. Does this guy fuck to it? I'm like, wait, (laughs) did you change it up? Uh, For this segment, your boys will read two posts from the cringiest parts of the internet and be faced with the ultimate question. Is this poster okay? Think of this segment as similar to, let's say it all together, guys. Does, Does this, this guy, this guy, guy fuck. fuck? You'll fix it in post, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So post number one. This is originally sent in to Alex via the Cultivate Discord. Join that shit. Yo. Ooh. Oh. By a user Steamship back in October of 2023. In parentheses. Alex says, apologies for taking this long to add it. 
Close parentheses. <laughs> but here's you the know, message. We're just as bad for, for yeah, responding to something. True. <laughs> here's the message from Steamship, followed by the post that they actually sent. Hey, Alex, it's up uh, the goat. It's Saskia from the row server. Hey, hey. that's the goat mod Woo. right there. The fucking oh, goat. Yeah. Hope you're well. I came across this while scrolling through TikTok live. In case you're not familiar, sometimes people post these kinds of things and invite people to debate them on it. But I thought it would be an interesting one for does he fuck or fuck Mary Yeet segments. Uh, no worries if not, though, but thought I'd send it over anyway. Okay, so this is like a, a screenshot of a notes app. It says boundaries for my girlfriends. So I guess these are boundaries for or like requirements he has for a girl to be his girlfriend. Okay. This guy doesn't definitely have so a girlfriend. So already Wait, if you have a question. list. <laughs> if you got a question. list. <laughs> this guy absolutely not. This guy does not have a girlfriend. Oh my god. If you have a list <laughs> Holy and I had to shit. fucking zoom out so I could read it all in in one uh because that's how long this fucking stupid ass list is. But here we go. <laughs> Requirements to be this loser's girlfriend. <laughs> uh, He's single. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Absolutely. <laughs> you must be five foot six or below. You must have green or blue eyes. You can't be too confident or self-secure. Holy <laughs> shit. You must be willing to cook. You cannot oh. have any male friends. You will not talk back to me during our disagreements. You must be 18 or above. You, you will sure about give that? me. Oh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah. That goes without That's saying. That's the only good right? one I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> you will give me five sons. You must have a good relationship with your father. No smoking or vaping. You will wear sensible clothes, parentheses, no flares, no leggings, no miniskirts, and parentheses. You must not have any celebrity crushes. You cannot have tattoos. You must dye your hair slash color your nails to a color of my liking. You cannot post yourself on social media. You cannot have nice. any past traumas. Uh, and you must not be <laughs> career or degree focused. You cannot get jealous when other girls try to talk to me. Nobody's talking to you, my guy. <laughs> you no. Can, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, this is a weird specific one. Uh, not that all of these aren't weird and specific. Yeah, they're but, all weird. <laughs> yeah, but this one says you must have failed your driving test at least once. What? <laughs> okay. He didn't want anyone that could fucking drive away from his dumbass. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then the last but not least, you will come on the back of my motorcycle. So that's poster number one. So now we must ask, is this Does poster? This oh, guy, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> is this poster okay? And or does this guy fuck? Uh, no. No, no to both. No to both. No yeah, that is unhinged. Absolutely he doesn't want a insane. partner. He wants a uh, a, a, a dog that they can program. Yeah, a subservient <laughs> uh, like part like wife. I guess I, I can't even call her a partner because it wouldn't be. Every time I no. see these things, I I'm like, this can't be like a real person, right? This is like fucking made oh. for engagement, made to Trust fucking me, troll. Sean. And then I'm just exist. like, oh, that's so fucking like anytime these things happen, I'm just like, how do you write this and then go on TikTok live and then debate this for hours? Dude, I, uh, Andrew Tate brought out the worst in society. They are now boldly pronouncing this on the Internet. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but he should have stayed in jail. Is he still in jail? I no hope one, so. No one sleep with these people. I don't want the, their offspring in the, the world. Procre, yeah, that's not. <laughs> Post number two. This post includes an image that was shared on r slash not how girls work. I don't know what this is. I imagine this is what 4chan looks like, but I'm not totally sure. I've never been. It, is it like the pinkish background or green yeah. background? Is that? Okay, yeah, that's probably 4chan. Okay, yeah. Ooh, Josh knows I've about I've actually 4chan. never been on 4chan. I've, I've just seen like. Same. 
found this on 4chan and then it has this pink background. Yeah. That's where I've seen it only on Reddit. I've never actually I'm, been oh, on the site. I'm actually <laughs> scared to go on that site. Uh, it seems like the closest to dark web as, as, uh, <laughs> as you, as you can go. get. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 4chan is the worst places of Reddit, uh, as a website. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, maybe who knows? Maybe there is good stuff on there uh, and it just gets a bad rep, but I, I will never be the one to stuff. find out. But yeah, it, I feel it's like sifting through a haystack to find the good things. Okay. So this is kind of just, I don't know how to read this, so I'm just going to read it as is. Uh, this is posted by Anonymous. Uh, they write, Father, send their daughters to wife school, state or f- privately funded. Women learn all the skills necessary to be a good wife. Cooking, are cleaning, the, wait, housemaking. Wait, are there state funded wife schools? <laughs> not hey, that I, would, I, would I know not- of. I've never heard of that in my life. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> holy shit watch utah has it yeah <laughs> that's good gonna say. if there was a place it'd be texas too <laughs> yeah, that'd be oh, one of the God places i guess <laughs> it would it be sucks that i can't say you're wrong uh, yeah not where you are but outside of <laughs> well i mean yeah texas so all the big cities are liberal yeah but uh yeah anyways back to the list that you learn at state-funded wife school i guess <laughs> Uh, house I don't pay for no fucking taxes for that. Yeah, for <laughs> minimal math for grocery shopping and measurements. You can't know a lot of math, only minimal. <laughs> Just the adding and subtracting dollars. Yeah. Child rearing, sex classes, when old enough. How young are you sending women to wife school? Well, hang on. Actually, I'm okay with them teaching like sex ed to, to people. <laughs> so if, yeah. if that's one of them, sure, that one could be included. <laughs> I just, in my mind, don't believe that those sex classes will be good or helpful. No, I 100%. I agree. mean, dudes, some dudes need sex ed because they probably don't know how to pleasure women. <laughs> For sure. I don't know if they teach that in sex classes. I've never had one, actually. Did y'all have home ec? Hell yeah. Well, not home ec, but bro. we had sex Y'all had sex ed? In, yeah, I never yeah. had that. Hell yeah. Texas, it was like a, brother. It was sex like does a, not a, exist. A few weeks out of our, <laughs> <laughs> it was a few weeks out of our phys ed class. Yeah, we Grade never. Nine or something. Or at least my school didn't. We never had the sex talk. We saw how to put on a condom nice. and uh, a bunch of terrible diseases. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, the yeah. blue awful. Yes, Don't look that, that was one we saw. Put sure. that in the, in oh, the sex yeah. ed class? I, I mean, it's scares oh, yeah. you. You're like, well, I'm definitely putting a condom on. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to try that one. <laughs> All right. Looks like a delicacy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, they must learn fashion and modesty, animal caretaking, gardening, and emotional support. You are a low to middle status man. Walk into wife school. Women are graded from E up to through A and then S. Grades factored by technical skill, age, attractiveness, personality. Graded Jesus. women are separated by floor. Each floor higher in the building, a higher grade woman. Step out of the elevator on your chosen floor. Staff blows a whistle. Girls called to assembly room. You walk in. This guy, they need to track this man. Uh, yeah. and- <laughs> well, this is just the handmaid's tale. Well, yeah. And then wait for this one. Uh, definitely illegal. Topless girls ages 16 through 22 are then lined oh. up for you to choose. Each has Jail. a name tag with Murder. their father's contact information. Wait, we're not calling for that. Sorry. <laughs> we yeet. Could, yeah, yeet him, I guess, since we're not allowed yeet. to say fool. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> uh, holy fucking shit. Is this just like a, a fantasy that he has? Yeah. I mean, this there's is that, I gotta believe that there's not a state or privately funded wife school. No, uh, I think then this the, must be a, uh, uh, yeah, a fantasy. Sick, yeah, a suggestion he has if he was in charge, maybe. I don't know. But, <sighs> okay, yeah. The, yeah, <laughs> obviously the grossest part of it all. Uh, so, I don't know, man. I would not be mad if this guy was, uh, you know, not <laughs> Disappear. here. Disappear. <laughs> not here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is, 
Uh, I guess we don't have to decide disgusting. who is worse. We just have to say that they're both. I bad. mean, they both and, okay. are ass. If we want to do the who's worse, this guy's worse because at, le- yeah. at least the other guy had a cap of At least the other guy said 18. At least the other guy said 18. Yeah. Oh, you got to choose the lesser evil between the two. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but yeah. I wouldn't defend either of them. <laughs> not at all. I'd be fine with both of them Shot. not being here. Uh, yeah. But Holy fuck. D- it, of course, we have to ask, thus the segment. Is this poster okay? No jail, no, maybe death. He should actually. go to jail. state funded <laughs> psychiatric care. <laughs> yeah. Those are few and far between, but sad. All right, oh, that's this is tight. That's it for this episode. <laughs> I do have some Venmos to read uh, before we get to uh, John and Josh's if they have any comments or anything like that. But all right, this first one is from Michaela. They write for the amazing new intro song. I was cheesing oh. so hard when I heard all the little voice clips of you guys rather than Shia aggressive, you, aggressively yelling at me. <laughs> Michaela sends 11 cents. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, and there have been people that are, are asking for the old one back. Uh, I think we're going to stick with it. I think enough people like you just are enjoying it. To it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like when, yeah, someone said it, I think in our Patreon where they're like, it's like when your favorite sitcom gets a new, uh, intro song and you hate it for the first few and then you look back on it and you're like oh yeah that song slaps it's kind of like that i'm hoping <laughs> hopefully hopefully yeah by june hopefully everyone's banging along to it it'll grow on you like asterions if you don't, <laughs> don't give too much away <laughs> brother oh, my goodness. Uh, you gotta this- be a patron to know what that I, what that meant <laughs> exactly right <laughs> Uh, next up, we have Emma, who writes, from the January 8th Monday episode, and the review read, uh, I am a licensed therapist, and I definitely recommend y'all to people. So, oh, hey, shit. <laughs> let's go. That's at least two out of ten therapists. Love that's three now, right? Yeah, it's three, I think. I think that's we three. three yeah, that's three. Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's Damn. go. That's crazy. Love y'all. <laughs> we need Keep to make. Up. We need to make a shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> Recommended by three and ten ther- therapists. <laughs> three therapists approved. Uh, we also, update it every time we get another one, <laughs> it's four now. <laughs> hey, new merch. Also, I always just Venmo you guys because I suck at using Reddit. So I'm here for a consult if you guys ever need. Lol. Oh. And Emma sends fifty cents. Thank you, Emma. I have so much trauma. Next up, you will have have a field day with me. (laughs) We have Jesus. Yeah. (laughs) We have Jesus uh, and or Jesus Christ himself. Who knows? Uh, They write, nice. I appreciate the vibes on the podcast. You guys have a great dynamic and remind me of how I am with my friends. Cheers to a great year. And they send two dollars and sixty nine cents. So that's what's nice. Uh, nice, nice, hell yeah! Thank you for that. Next up, we got Soraya, who writes, "Could not relate more to the details of John's childhood and being raised up." Smiley face. Thank you all for being so open. They send ten dollars. Oh Ooh. shit! Thank Soraya, you very much. Thank you. Next up, we got Steph and Ryan, who write. My wife and I have been listening to you for a long time, but I found out today that she doesn't listen to your ads. So <gasps> gasp after some negotiation. Uh, and then Ooh. you got to love that. They still spelled Sean wrong in that part. Uh, <laughs> you love to do it. <laughs> <laughs> she agreed to send you guys some money. So keep up the good work. Steph and Ryan send ten dollars. Oh, we wow. appreciate the compensation. For yeah, out on our ads. <laughs> the ads you want for the next few months. <laughs> yeah, skip it away. Susie writes in all caps. You changed the theme song. Applause! Applause! Anger. Applause! Applause! Oh. No, celebrate Susie was horn. Pro. Celebrate yeah. horn. <laughs> celebrate horn. I'm Thought glad that you somewhere. guys took my advice, and it sounds great. Happy New Year, guys. Keep being awesome, smiley face. Susie sends $30. Hey! hey as as far as much. the war goes on who's paying us for the songs, we've <laughs> Let's we've change reached... it again and then have people pay again. <laughs> I think uh, the, on that side of the Civil War has won, the new theme song side. 
Should, should I become a DJ, guys? Yeah, maybe, Ooh. honestly. <laughs> People are loving your music. Wow. And then last but not least, we got Carrie who writes, Happy New Year to the boys. I got a work bonus, and literally my first thought was, I should share this with the boys. I'm officially oh. brainwashed by Sean's endless Venmo plugs. <laughs> Carrie sends $30. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Holy shit. Thank I'm you glad it's much. working on somebody. On the Use bonus. that elsewhere. Instead <laughs> yeah. of Again, giving it to us. <laughs> if you want us to return your bonus money, we can and will. Uh, Treat yourself. But also, you know, we'll, we'll keep uh, it due. We'll keep I got it. no problems about that. Better hey, believe one it. of our boys getting married this year, so we might yeah. need it. <laughs> yeah. Me. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you fool. <laughs> All right. Uh, John, Josh, any comments, reviews? For sure. Uh, I got one review here from Ellie, and they give us a five star and say, post surgery comfort. They say, love listening to the podcast while I was recovering from a hysterectomy. Shout oh. out a Dr. Desa of, is it Plano, Texas or Piano, Texas? Plano. Plano. Texas. Plano. Uh, and then they say a, a rare OBGYN win in Texas. It really keeps me laughing and gave me something to interact with while I was on six weeks of bed rest. Oh, uh, so glad you were able to recover and find a good OBGYN uh, in Texas. That probably is pretty rare. I think wow. probably Shit. the OBGYNs are good. It's just the law. You know what I mean? That's true. Mm. You're right. You're right. The doctors themselves, I don't think they like the laws here. Yeah, I mean, it makes their jobs way harder, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then Crystal says, this podcast makes my work days bearable. Five star. Ooh, thank you. Uh, you guys will enjoy, or John will specifically enjoy this one. He says, <laughs> they say, this podcast brings me much needed laughter, especially in my stressful work environment. I hope one day to be a rich, rich and join the Patreon. And then they go on to say, you guys are awesome. John is my favorite. And toast is bread 100% heart. It's facts. No. Yep. It's You're goddamn right. That's fucking facts. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's different. <laughs> uh, That's why then, you're not the favorite, Josh. I know. I well, of course I know. Um, and then I got one here that I thought was funny. Uh, it's for well, I'm not going to shout their name out because I don't want hate. Uh, one star. Oh no. Says, oh no. Dumb show. A ri- unoriginal garbage. And that's the review. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we read stories that aren't ours. Yeah. <laughs> and we react to it. Of yeah. course it's not original. <laughs> I just thought that one was funny. But um, thank you? Yeah. Thank you for writing a review, I guess. You took time out of your day to be negative. How does that make you feel, bud? Yeah, we're living rent free. <laughs> yeah. Is this reviewer okay? No. Probably not. Maybe. Well, maybe. yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe they just got a lot of time. We're just not their thing, you know. And it's okay. We're not yeah. for everybody. That's fair. Yeah, that's uh, that's my reviews for today. John, you got anything for us? I don't have any reviews, but I do have a call out. <laughs> uh, we have new merchandise out. We do have a Valen Giants mm, Day merch yeah. coming out. Designed by the amazing Janelle. Uh, man, she just put put the work and she made like our vision come come to fruition. It's fucking fruition, fire. actually. Yeah, it is really good. So, the cop uh, Valentine's Day merch. We're gonna have. Uh, I think the guys and I talked about it. We're gonna try to do like more of like a quarterly release uh, merch, so that way we have uh, fresh fits for you guys that you can uh, that you can rock. So, uh, that's uh, Reddit on Wikishop dot com. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. Reddit on wikishop.com. Get it in time by Valentine's Day and rock that shit and buy it for your partner. Because yeah, it's a cool partner, thing to do. Get your partner, Valentine. Yeah. yeah. Spread giant <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode. Thank you, Wikimaniacs, for listening. We'll see you guys on Friday. Unless you're a patron, then we'll see you on Wednesday, <sighs> I think. Or maybe Tuesday. Who knows? Anyways. Thank you, guys. Later. And I will say, uh, this is a Baldur's Gate fan fiction smut. Woo! 